Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Upcom Media back with another Dokkan battle video. So first things first, before we jump into the gameplay and the showcase, I want to wish all of you guys watching this video right now a very Merry Christmas. Now I know technically it's not Christmas yet since I'm recording this on the 24th, but you never know with the holiday season, things are kind of crazy right now, there's a lot of parties going on, so just in case I don't get a chance to actually put out a video tomorrow on the day of Christmas, uh, once again, Merry Christmas and also Happy Holidays. Hope you guys are enjoying some great time with their family and friends, uh, enjoying your vacations, and also, uh, most importantly, I hope Arn Jesus blesses you guys on this holiday season so that you guys can pull some mad fire in your upcoming summons. And with all that out of the way, let's focus on the main topic at hand, which is this guy right here, the Tech Golden Frieza, who just got his Extreme Z Awakening on Global, and I'm gonna be honest with you guys, he is absolutely phenomenal. He is so good in so many different ways. Definitely one of my favorite units to use at the moment. And uh, what we're gonna do first is take a look at his details. If you guys already know what he does, then feel free to skip ahead about a minute, minute and a half, and we'll get into the gameplay, all right? So starting with his stats, he has some very, very respectable stats. 17,253 attack. 10,907 defense and 16,941 HP. His leader skill is tech types, key plus three, HP, attack and defense, plus 120%. His super attack causes immense damage and lowers or massively lowers the enemy's defense. And his passive gives him attack plus 80%, reduces damage received by 80% when HP is 50% or more, and then reduces damage received by 50% plus an additional 50% attack when HP is 49% or less. And it looks like the phone is about to die, so we're gonna try to make this as quick as possible. Um, links, Universe is Most Malevolent, Revival, Super God Combat, Resurrection F, uh, Strongest Clan in Space, Shocking Speed, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Resurrected Warriors, Movie Bosses, Full Power, Transformation Boost, and Wicked Bloodline. Um, overall, just a really, really good Extreme Z Awakening, but instead of talking about it, let's just, uh, let's just show you guys how good he is, right? So we're starting off with a uh, okay rotation here. We do have Kid Buu for that 50% support, but we don't have his best linking partner on the team, which would be the Angel Golden Frieza. But uh, let's see what he can do without that partner. We do have 50%, like I said, from Kid Buu, so we should be seeing some pretty decent numbers. Um, maybe we'll get supered right off the bat, not this time, taking a normal hit for 53 damage, guys, and attack stat goes up to 1.9 mil, not too shabby. Now, in the past, before his Extreme Z Awakening, that attack stat probably would have been around 1.1, maybe 1.2 mil, so still quite a significant increase to his damage output, and of course, uh, as you guys saw, when he falls below 50% HP, or when your team falls below 50% HP, he gets an additional 50% attack, so uh, I'm expecting that attack stat to get up to at least 2.5 mil, maybe even close to, maybe even close to like 3 million, if we have him with uh, Angel Golden Frieza as well for those links, but we'll have to see, because uh, I honestly haven't tested him out too much yet, and I haven't really seen any showcases because I like to go into these showcases fairly fresh. Um, so yeah, we'll find out together. We'll find out together. So we're using my Int LR Cell as the second rotation. Uh, ideally, of course, I want to get them together with the Tech Cell. So we'll get all the rotations in order in a couple of turns right now. Um, it's all good. It's all good. It's a bit of a mess, but it's not a big deal. Okay, so we have my girl... Darkness Toa, not doing much damage, but she's mainly here for the support. And I kind of actually want her to take some more damage because um, we're trying to fall below 50% HP at some point, but this guy is so damn tanky that it's actually really hard to achieve. It's actually really hard when you have this tech Golden Frieza on your team to fall below that 50% mark. Look, look at this, taking normal hits for 99 damage. Now our attack goes up to 2.1 mil with the Angel Gold and Frieza links. Um, can we get supered here? Uh, no supers, still taking normal hits for basically zero damage. This dude just does not take damage. He just does not take damage. He refuses 
to take damage, <laughs> which is great. But what I'm trying to showcase is full damage capabilities. Uh, it makes things a lot more complicated than they have to be. So uh, right now we're just going to let it play out. I'm not going to really do anything special, but later on I might actually try to put some of the weaker units defensively uh, in front of some more attacks so that we can uh, you know, try to lower our HP without dying. It's a, it's a delicate balance, guys. It's a very, very delicate balance. Okay, so here I'm actually going to put Angel Golden Frieza in the front so that Tech Golden Frieza can take more of those hits in the middle. And uh, maybe Toa can take some good damage for us, as in like, take more damage so we can lower our HP a little bit more. Um, we'll see. We'll see. And we haven't been supered yet, which is like really weird. Like we're, we're on the third stage now, we haven't been supered even once yet. I'm not really sure what's going on there, but I can guarantee you a super will not hurt a lot. Okay, there we go. We're getting super. We took 9 damage with the normal hit, and this one's going to do 41 to us. Yeah, this dude just doesn't, he just does not take damage, man. I don't know what else I can say about that. 80% um, damage reduction is just insane. Couple that with his EZA stats of over 10,000 defense, which is actually not the craziest. It's not like the highest defense by any means for Extreme Z Awakened unit, but uh, still a good amount of defense. And you couple that with the 80%. I mean, he's just a freaking, I want to say brick wall, but that's not even a very accurate description he's more like a titanium wall or a diamond wall or whatever the hardest substance you can think of is is diamond the hardest i don't even know if you guys are experts in that stuff let me know in the comments down below what is like the material i could use to describe just how tanky this golden frieza is because i'm at a loss for words i don't know exactly how to explain it in a way that does him justice he just doesn't take damage that's the uh, that's the moral of the story. He does not take damage. Okay, so now we're on the Super Saiyan 3 stage. We're actually blasting through this like super, super quickly. Uh, I'm gonna put Golden Frieza, or the Tech Golden Frieza. There's a lot of Golden Frieza's on rotation, but the Tech Golden Frieza goes in the front for those attacks. Um, and these guys can still super, so it's totally fine. And we're getting supered again. I'm gonna say triple digit at the most. Never mind. Nine damage. How does damage reduction even work, man? Because he takes 9 damage for the super, but like double digit damage for the regular hits. Uh, how does that work? That, does, that doesn't make any sense because the super, in theory, would do a lot more, right? So the super should at least like be the one doing double digits and the normal attack should be doing single digits. I don't really know what's up with that, but I'm going to take it at the end of the day. I mean, double digit, single digit, it's all basically non-factors. <laughs> How are we still at full HP, man? How are we still at a completely 100% HP? I mean, it doesn't help that we actually have a bunch of units on this team that can tank, right? Like the, the tech cell can tank too when he gets a lot of orbs or even like a couple of orbs. Uh, of course, int cell is a great tank. Um, yeah. So super, tank, super tanky team, I haven't used a single item uh, and I don't think I need to, honestly. I might actually be able to no item this stage um, with this team. I'll have to try that in the future. Not today though, not today. Like I said, my phone's dying. We're at 12% battery, my friends. 12% 12, 12 battery right now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to, we're gonna have to make this quick. But how do I fall below 50% HP? Um, while trying to go quickly. I think maybe the Kid Boo will take a good amount of damage if we get supered. And hopefully we don't die at that point. And then when we come back on the on the next next rotation, um, we might be able to get that extra boost, I think. Because at this point, you guys have seen enough of what he can do, you know, above 50% HP. He basically does really solid damage, right? He doesn't hit as hard as some of the other EZAs out there. Uh, he doesn't hit as hard as like, you know, Beerus or uh, Int Janemba after he takes a hit or, you know, Super Saiyan Blue Kaioken Goku or anything like that, but his damage is very respectable, right? Um, okay, this one's gonna hurt. This one, okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So here's the plan. We're gonna use the Ghost Dasher here, so we're still below 50% HP, right? And then, uh, I don't know, just, just, just 
do some do some do something i don't really care what these guys do i'm actually not even gonna give these guys like same type orbs because i'm scared i'm gonna get a token attack off and then heal back up so we're gonna go with this all right this is the plan here and yeah just do your thing normal attacks doesn't matter now we do have the 30 percent support from toa unfortunately actually i think toa is giving 50 percent because for a passive she gives uh, oh, never mind. I lied. No. So you have to be below 30% HP and she'll heal back, heal you back to full and then give you attack and defense plus 50% that one time. Okay, never mind. So 30% from Toa, um, an extra 50% from, uh, what do you call it, from uh, Golden Frieza's secondary part of his passive. He currently has 50% damage reduction, so not as tanky as he was before, but still tanky enough. We might actually die here. If we do die, though, it's fine. I don't really mind it. Okay, so we're still taking 61 damage, 100 damage there, 2.44 mil. So like I said in the beginning of this video, I'm stacking around 2.5 mil. Uh, we would be over 2.5 if we had the Kid Boo on rotation, right? If we got that extra 20% attack. So uh, yeah, that's pretty good. That's, that's pretty freaking good. <laughs> okay, so Toa might die here. Oh, we're still alive. And we're, we're getting the Cell Transformation. That's actually kind of perfect. You know, I didn't even think about cell transforming, but uh, I'm okay with that. I am 100% okay with that. And uh, you know what? Let's actually try to get the token attack with cell 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 orbs. Um, I don't think that's his full passive. He needs 8 orbs of the full passive, right? But that's still uh, a good amount of his passive. We're getting 2 of the 20% attack and defense boosts. And his defense is currently at, what is it? Uh, 142k. Okay, not too bad. And we'll give a couple orbs to sell, a couple orbs to Boo, who can't super. But uh, hopefully he'll still survive. If he doesn't survive, it's fine. It's not a big deal. Why, why is Jasper going crazy right now? Jasper, calm down. Calm down, Jasper. This is my dog, by the way. If you guys couldn't tell by the barking. Uh, he's, got, he's going crazy. I don't know if someone's at the door or something like that. But I'm not going to worry about it right now because I'm trying to do the showcase. Before the phone dies, currently at 10% HP. <laughs> okay, what's this? What's this uh, token attack with the 18k super for the transform cell gonna do? Crit? Ooh, no crit, but 5.3 mil. Okay, I was worried about us dying. Those those worries were uh, definitely unfounded. <laughs> There's no reason for me to worry at all, cause uh, we're good, man. That that might have actually one shot the the Goku from 100% HP. I'm not sure if it would have, but. I think there's a chance. I don't know how much HP he has, but he probably would have either died straight up from full HP or been very close to death. So uh, we pretty much are done the showcase. I'm gonna just use no items. Just gonna let it play out until I guess we die or something, or I don't know, we beat the event somehow. Probably not. I'm gonna go for like two more minutes and then we're gonna call things regardless of how far we get. As you can see guys, still tanking extremely, extremely well, even at this point. Um, all right, so as it turns out, we have to cut this showcase short because some guests actually just showed up for our uh, Christmas party. One of, I believe, three we're having this holiday season. Like I said, it's a crazy, crazy time of the year, which is why I'm not really sure if I can put out a video tomorrow, but I'm sure you guys understand. And uh, even though we have to cut it short, I don't think you guys missed out on anything because you pretty much saw everything this guy can do. He literally does not take damage even below 50 percent hp he is just an insane insane tank i think he's overall probably the best tank in the game with the damage reduction uh or rather you know of course damage reduction but with the damage output um and uh he's just he's great I, I love him so much i'm so happy he's available on global now if you guys were on the fence about whether or not he was worth the easy a whether or not he was worth the zenny worth all the effort worth the, the orb investment all that stuff i hope your questions have been answered and it is a resounding yes all right there are very few units out there that are more worthy of your time and your orbs than the tech golden frieza right here so that's gonna do it for today's showcase guys i gotta go entertain the guests and uh eat a lot of food which it's not a bad thing, so uh, yeah, make sure to let me know in the comments down below what you think about the Extreme Z Awakened Tech Golden Frieza. And as always, if you liked the video, then make sure to like, 
the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And once again, guys, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, pull some fire for your boy Tiger, and until next time, I hope you guys have a fantastic, fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.